Um, I'm going to move on to another question from Chris. Chris asked me, why can we not stop oil shipments from foreign sources as the price goes negative? So that's a pretty good question. Like that, I, that I get that quite often as why can't we stop foreign oil from coming into our country? And I've looked into this, this before. So the vast majority of Canadian refineries get either Canadian oil or they get American oil. So I hope, Chris, we're not talking about banning shipments in from America, which is sometimes rebranded Canadian oil, because what it would cause is shortages at Canadian refineries uh, in Ontario, in Quebec, but also refineries in New Brunswick and in Newfoundland. Uh, there is no pipeline network big enough to make sure that we can ship only Canadian oil to all of those different parts of the Canadian uh, economy, uh, just because of what Canadian geography is like. Obviously, if we had Energy East built, if we had more pipeline capacity built, it would be a different question then. I think what we should be doing is disincentivizing Canadian refineries from purchasing oil from specifically OPEC countries. OPEC countries like the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the UAE and the others who are members of it, so about 13, 14 countries who are members of OPEC. Um, those countries have been making life much more difficult for Canadian and Alberta energy producers and we should be taking away their preferential trade status instead of uh, allowing this oil to be imported on the same basis, but we cannot simply cut off foreign shipments to refineries that we cannot supply with Canadian oil because you'll cause gasoline and diesel shortages in uh, especially in New Brunswick and the Maritimes and in Newfoundland, which has started to import more and more Russian oil, according to Statistics Canada. So that, Chris, is the short answer to that one.